Please give it up for Joshua Lake! What's up, everybody? How's it going? Any of you guys have a friend who's very explicit about their sex life? They always want to share details and ask what was the worst. Ask somebody, hey, how was your weekend? He goes, oh, I was awesome. I was uh, hitting my girl from behind and stuck my thumb in her ass. I was so warm and tired. That reminded me, like, hey, you to date my sister? Uh, if you can't tell by my face, I am Asian, Asian American. My mom's immigrated from Korea and met my dad in Oklahoma, a white guy. I fell in love, got married, had kids. The story was really beautiful, beautiful for us growing up, you know, different background, different languages even. We started a family together. My mom was great, she wanted to give us a real traditional American upbringing, so she got divorced. <laughs> and after the divorce, it was a little uncomfortable at times with my father and me, like the playground. You know, this big white guy, a small Asian boy. We had looked like father and son. Looked like an air alert. <laughs> What's even more uncomfortable is like, as I got older, not once did anyone ever try to rescue me. <laughs> All the parents were like, hey, look at our kids, he's getting a lesson. Let's go. <laughs> now, my dad, he did date other women after the divorce, as he should. The first woman he dated was Chinese, second Thai, third Chinese again. <clears throat> it wasn't love that brought me, it was just an Asian fetish. <laughs> And other kids, they took notice of at school. They were like, hey, uh, is your dad sick? I go, what are you talking about? And I think he's got a little fever. <laughs> I was terrified. I go home and go, dad, 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 dad. Are you okay? Are you sick? He goes, what? what are you talking about? Fine. Kids at school said he had yellow fever? He goes, what? No, come on. That's, that's the, ignore them. I'm okay. But I feel like some Asian pussy. <laughs> 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 Uh, my dad, he's a character, you know, he uh, has Ozzy tattooed on his knuckles, dropped out of high school twice, and he's also the biggest pothead I know. When you have a pothead for a father, you realize there's three kinds of smart. You've got book smart, street smart, and drug smart. And all drug smart means that you're really good at the metric system. <laughs> Doing homework as a kid, he'd be behind me just... Let's take grams! <laughs> Right, an essay dad, I don't know how that helps. <laughs> no, I uh, just this past week had my four year wedding anniversary. <laughs> it's not going well, you're very unhappy. <laughs> no, I, I love my wife, she's a tremendous woman. One of the things I love about her, she has really unique hobbies and interests. Like, one of her favorite activities is to go get caricatures. The thing is, though, she's like a blonde white lady, so for her, it's like a fun activity. <laughs> <laughs> every time, I was like, how racist is this guy going to be? <laughs> like clockwork, she looks like a blonde bombshell, I look like World War II propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we did just have like a, our first like actual kind of hiccup in our marriage. It's largely my fault, you know. I can overthink things. I'll start thinking: Are we having sex correctly at the time? Is it too long? Too short? Is the right thrust per minute? And I got so caught up in my head that like I didn't, I couldn't finish. So I didn't know what to do. So I started to fake it, which was very embarrassing. Because I think she's beautiful. I find her very, very attractive. But what was even more embarrassing is that she caught me faking. <laughs> She was not happy, I can't blame her. No one likes to be lied to and nobody likes to be spit on. So... <laughs> uh, a joke like me just takes a minute to <laughs> For our uh, anniversary though, she did get me a, a really, really great gift. She got me a framed Kobe Bryant jersey. Yeah, he's my favorite basketball player. I like, worship this guy, I idolize him. Thing was, it kind of also reminded me of like the day it passed. Like, I'll never forget that day. I woke up, I was taking a nap, and my phone was tons of missed calls, tons of missed texts. And I was like, oh my god, is everything okay? Like, my parents are not that happy. I opened it up and said, Who we brought it down? I was like, what? Is that would be fake, right? Then more news came, it was like his daughter was with her, her teammates. I started thinking, like, why? Like, why I could have been my dad that guy? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't score any more points in the game. <laughs> He didn't beat his rape case? Come on! Kobe? <laughs> <Help me>. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, Ben Athens. And on second positive, uh, George Floyd. All right. <laughs> now, uh, George Floyd, can you believe it's been two years? Over two years? I don't know if things gotten better, right? I don't know if things really changed. But I'll never forget where I was when I saw the news footage. I remember being like, oh my god, this is insane. And also, oh my god, I can't talk to my dad for five years. So that went. He's a hardcore Republican man. He gave me a call. I was like, yeah. He goes, you see the news? Yeah. He goes, I think it's disgusting. It's awful. I go, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I agree. And he goes, well, you want to do something? I said, my friends are going to go protest. We're going to join. He goes, absolutely. I'll make the signs. Pick me up. We tried to pick them up. And the sign just said, racism is for fags. <laughs> <laughs> and progress to progress. 